I play Audrey, which is the love interest to Seymour. I am Seymour. I would like to remind our listeners. Just under 20 actors, another 10 or so tech, uh, and about 20 or so in the pit. I am your dentist. I'm Ronette. One of two puppeteers. I'm the lighting designer. I'm a stage manager. I'm the plant that kills everybody. I play Crystal. She's one of the uh, Greek muses. <laughs> They're the only ones who don't end up dead at the end of the play. So, bragging rights. Oh, no, we don't have to write that. I am the theater teacher at Highlands Ranch High School. That is theater! Mr. Brooks texted us and said that our score was national level score and we were going to nationals and that was crazy. It was the best feeling I've ever had in this life. I think we've multiplied the number of people who are going to nationals by 10. And they're all so incredibly talented, so no one's really slacking off at all, and no one's really, we're looking at like, oh, line. Theater is demanding by its nature. Headboard screwed on! Oh, that hurts! Put a lot of hours into this. When I'm not in school and I'm not in bed, it's pretty much here. Finding that perfect balance is really difficult. There's a lot of things with the outside world, outside of, of the stage, uh, that are in our way sometimes. Well, I'm in five AP classes. <laughs> How are you doing? It's very time consuming, it's very energy consuming. <sighs> Keeping up with grades. If I fail classes, I don't get to be in the show. I think definitely the hardest thing is that I sustain my own household um, with my sister because my parents don't live here. I have dyscalculia. It's kind of like dyslexia, but with math and numbers. So I get home at like 6.15 and then I'm kind of just doing homework all night. <laughs> I usually need like 14 hours of sleep a day. Narcolepsy is a sleeping disorder. Basically, I can fall asleep within a minute when it takes most people like 10 to 20 minutes. Mr. Brooks is really great with it. I usually will nap before rehearsal and can make it through and there's a gap in the show where I can just lie down on the floor and like snooze for a few minutes if I need to. Is somebody in there? I have a life debilitating nerve condition that messes with me 24-7, and I'm just in 24-7 pain. Ah! Someone compared it to that of being set on fire while giving birth. <laughs> yeah. I've never given birth or set, been set on fire, so I don't know. <laughs> so many of the students that I'm working with right now are, are overcoming those things. One of the most amazing things somebody can do is try to step into someone else's shoes. My sister has got me through it. Um, she's my number one supporter. And the theaters is somewhere I found that you can really feel amazing about yourself. Open wide, here I come! Because they love it so much, they're always going to step up. Support your local theaters. Come see the show. Because without theater, you wouldn't have television. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. Think about that. <laughs>